Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to fix your bobby pins. And the reason that I'm doing this um, instead of buying new ones is because I'm cheap, and uh, I'm sure you guys are too, to a degree. And uh, bobby pins are a very important part of cosplay. You need bobby pins to pin your wig on to make sure it doesn't fall off, and sometimes even for decoration in your wig. For instance, in my ring wig, I wear a lot of these uh, white bobby pins. Um, so what we need to do is we take this little loop right here and some pliers. We put that loop into the pliers and clamp down. And this one's curved slightly. So we could try to take this and curve it back. So that one's closed. And here's another one. These are open quite wide, as you can tell. This typically happens when you use these in your buns. Um, I wear hair buns quite often, so this happens. Um, and see now it's back to normal. Here is a bobby pin that came straight out of the package. Um, this has not been used. And here's one that I fixed. So as you can see, it literally makes them like new. You know, the, the grip is just as good as it was when you first got it. This method also works sometimes if you have bobby pins that the grip isn't very good to begin with. Um, sometimes you'll buy a brand of bobby pins from the store and they'll be loose. Um, you can use this method to fix that problem as well. Um, like for instance, I've got these black bobby pins that uh, they look like they're pretty closed and they've got good grip, but if you see, there's a lot of space in there. Whereas in this one, there's no space in between those prongs. And this is brand new out of the package. Um, so what we want to do for this one as well is just clamp that down, and now there's not as much room. Um, now these white bobby pins, um, none of these are really broken. Uh, they're all pretty clamped down. But as you can see, there's like this weird amount of space in the back that kind of creates like a triangle. Uh, the, the way to fix that on these is to clamp, instead of the circle, you clamp the uh, straight edges over by the circle and make sure you close that really tight. And it kind of minimizes that space. Um, I'd already worked with those bobby pins, so um, there's not going to be any difference uh, with what I just did, but there was difference between that and how it was before. Now, not all of these are going to work. Um, that one I'm going to have to throw away. You don't want your bobby pins to have a lot of space or to be really open. And uh, try not to s crush the circle, because when you crush the circle, this is what happens. Um, the circle got crushed about right there, and it forces this leg up. Um, and there's not really much of a way to fix that. So just make sure you're, you know, somewhat gentle, only clamp it as hard as it needs to go.